Hey, is Simon over there? Simon? Oh, no, no, not if my songs will come up. I can, I can, they're, they're written here and they're, I can tap them, but they don't come up. So, if you know what's going on here, we'll just go ahead and start. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up to break every chain. Let's get those drums breaking those chains. Someone come up here and get this iPad and take it back to uh, Simon. Can someone do that? There's an Oh. 
break every chain, break every chain. There's an Welcome everybody tonight. We want to welcome you on the web, but more than anything, we want to welcome the God of the breakthrough. He who's going to break us through tonight, and we're going to welcome him into this place. start by sharing a dream tonight and uh, this is just recent and in this dream I saw angels that were being released from the heavens and they were the most fierce war faced angels I have ever seen their armor was made out of fire their sword out of lightning and thunder and God released 50 of them from heaven and when he released them he released one for each state and these angels came them, the fear of the Lord and the sovereignty of our God. They didn't scare me and what was coming and what is coming doesn't scare me. But the fear of my God who breaks through and he sent the angels and as he did they stood like this. They took their swords, they pierced them into the ground in strongholds of the Lord in all 50 states. And tonight God is setting a break Father, all of heaven 
sing louder. Let this place erupt in praise. Can you hear him? The sound of heaven touching earth. The sound of heaven touching earth. Oh, oh, spirit break out. Spirit break out. Break the walls down. Spirit break out. Oh, 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 oh. Heaven come down. Spirit break out. Spirit break out. Break our walls down. Oh, the break. Stay there in any manner. I'm taking up the high ground. I'm standing on the rock of my salvation. I'm taking up the high ground. I'm standing on the rock of my salvation. And I'm declaring war against my own fears. I'm giving notice to my weaknesses. I'm declaring war against my own fears. Jesus took me from the darkness to the Now, several years ago, we were in Oklahoma, and we saw these uh, huge warrior angels come in, and they accompanied... Uh, each state leader back to their state and Barbara Wintrouble and Chuck prophesied into them and when I got Clancy's dream when she was telling me about it she said some of the angels had a state name on them and so what the Lord just said to me while we were standing there is that his provision state by state in the, the Lord uh, uh, Jehovah Jireh has sent a, a provider he has provided an angelic force of the next level. That he is he, with full of strategy, full of knowing what needs to be done state by state. So, Lord, we call the remnant, the triumphant reserve in each state to begin to ask you, cry out to you, and find out how to, how to interact with their angelic and how to move with them. What you're trying to 
because he is coming to your state as his field of battle for this month to overthrow strongholds, to uproot iniquities in the land, and to make a turn for righteousness in your state. Now in this dream, I saw three states. I saw South Carolina, I saw North Dakota, and I saw Florida. And those were very, very plain. And so right now I say, South Carolina, hear what God's saying to you. It's time that the game stop and the righteousness of God arise. The religious structure fall and the victory of our God. God didn't say just break through. He said break through and possess the land that his kingdom come and be established. Now has come salvation and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ and the accuser has been cast down has been cast down has been cast down has been cast down let the king With God in heavenly places, victims no more. I'm a winner. A footholds that I had given, I take them all back down. A self pity, pride, and legalism. I'm taking up the high. I'm standing on the rock of my salvation. I'm taking up the high ground. I'm standing on the rock of my salvation. And I'm declaring war against my own fears. I'm giving notice to my weaknesses. I'm declaring war. Against my own fears uh, Jesus took me from the darkness to the light Go ahead and do a little Chris, go ahead For the Lord in filthy garments, a Satan accused, but a Jesus refused. The Father brought out the stone robes and put upon us, taking up the high ground. I'm standing on the rock of my salvation. I'm taking up the high ground. I'm standing on the rock of my salvation And I'm declaring war against my own fears I'm giving notice to my weaknesses Go ahead, Carrie. I just keep seeing these angels and it's like they come and this is for all states they come and I see them point at a like a region it could be a business and it's like a it reminds me of the finger of God when the finger of God comes the kingdom of God comes upon you and so what I'm seeing is it's uh, they're going to take us to a whole new level of strategy so what they're pointing at is places that have been bound up that we've not even seen as intercessors and so they're going to point at those places and then I see the people in the state it's like a convergence up on Stirring. 
Holy Spirit. So they point at those and it stirs up the glory. So over here you're stirring up the glory. Over here you're warring against what stops the glory. So Lord, I thank you for the new strategies that are being released from the angels. And Father, I pray that when the angels point out a new place for us to focus on, that we'll leave what's over here and go to where you are in the moment. And here's how I see what Carrie just shared. The word breaker, the Hebrew word that's translated breaker, it also means increase. And so it's not just God breaking in externally, but it is an increase of what is the internal. So Lord, we speak to North Dakota and South Carolina and Florida. Father, we speak to your triumphant reserve there. And we say there is an increase, Father, of your government. There is an increase of righteousness. And from that increase, God, they are breaking out from the inside out. Father, we say there is an outbreak, not just a breakout, but an outbreak in those states. God, we say that your spirit, there is an outbreak of them. There is an increase, Lord, in North Dakota, South Carolina, and Florida. with that sound. Yeah, another definition for Bell Perazine is that he is the master of the breakthrough. Another definition is that he is the master of explosion. Baal explosion is in one interpretation. So we decree that in all the state, the 50 states of the United States, there will be sightings of angelic visitation taking place in different cities in each in each uh, state, and that they will hear an explosive sound when the angelic forces come from heaven above and strike the earth with their sword, and the song of deliverance will be heard in the land over each state. And things will be changed dramatically by the supernatural intervention of God in Jesus' name. We sing and pray through. Oh. You are the Lord of the breakthrough. We sing and pray through. You are the Lord of the breakthrough. Pray. Oh, we people. And it said a word of the Lord was rare in his days. And that literally means the word of the Lord could not break through. The heavens had gotten so hard over them. And there many of our states right now, their heavens are so hard. The word, the prophetic word of the Lord cannot break through. What God did was he found one man, one child that would hear his word. Decree from state to state to state. God is going to find you, whoever you are who can hear His word. He is going to find you, and His word is going to break through to you. And it said, not one word that Samuel said, declared, fell to the ground. God, we declare you are sending a sure word, a confirmed word, a word that will produce what you send it to do from state to state to state. Don't you know the word is the rock? And so, Lord, I saw them 
such a word written in the heavens that we'll not be able to avoid it. And I hear the Lord saying over Fresno, California, the Lord is saying dry bones no more, for I am sending you a torrential rain, a torrential rain that will make your bones fat. And do not hesitate to speak forth my word when I give it to you, for in due season it shall come to pass. So I say again, torrential rains are coming your way. Just enter in with this sound. Let your faith rise up. Everybody on the webcast, enter into this sound. It's breaking through. It's breaking through. It's making a way for those angels to raise those boulders up and cast them down in places that have not heard the word of God.
and the fire around you and the glory within. Go ahead now. that I re- think that uh, what stuck out in Clancy's dream was that the angels came with swords of lightning and thunder to every state. So I declare, pay attention to where lightning and thunder comes over these next six weeks. Pay attention. But also the sound is important. And I declare that the Judas, the people on the worship teams that you'll break out, the, the bass players, the drums, you break out and you break out in your homes and you get up and you move, move with the sound. And as those angels that come down with thunder and lightning, they're coming down with this release of this book. And I see a breakthrough on this book like I've never seen on anything that, he, that Chuck's ever written because of the time that we're in. And we say that right now, California, pastors of California, open wide your doors because you're about to hear the word of the Lord that's been down inside of you, crying out. And you, something's going to make sense to you now with this book. And we call forth lightnings and thunders on this book. Apostolic Church, arise! And the word of the Lord is to the shepherds in every state in this nation where the breakthrough has not occurred. The Lord says, I am opening a window of opportunity for you, but I will not suffer you forever. And he says, you that have the hundred and one no more, and you're so afraid that one pastor is going to get another one's sheep, you don't prefer one another, you don't listen to the word of the Lord, and the Lord for you much longer. There is an opportunity coming, a window opening, and he says, come to me and I will give you everything you need. It is not too late. But those of you who will not partner, who will not work with one another, who will stay on an island, who will say, I've got everything and I don't need anybody else. There is a judgment coming. I am here to tell you, he not going to suffer shepherds that will not keep the sheep any longer. And when I, when we talked about Florida, I saw a pot, I saw a cauldron, and I just want to do a prophetic act and say, we right here from this heavenly place, stir the pot, stir the pot. I don't know what that looks like, but it's a prototype in Florida. And as we stir that pot, it goes faster, becomes a whirlwind and breaks out. The shrapnel from that pot will go forth into the heavens and shred the political spirit that has tried to divide right and left. We declare, go forth, the prototype, stir the pot, stir the pot.
Yeah, when Leroy was saying that, I just saw like cyclonic winds, the winds of the prophetic winding up stronger and stronger and stronger for the release over God's people that they would no longer be caught up in mediocrity, but they would move forth as a mighty moving force upon the earth in Jesus' name. that has hindered me. I'm going to rise up and drive a tent back to the voice of unbelief. Everybody rise up and drive a tent back to the mindset that has hindered me. Oh, rise up and drive a tent back to the voice of unbelief. Oh. Then the lamb's ram, she horns began to blow and the trumpets began to sound. And Joshua commanded all the children to shout and the walls come tumbling down that morning when Josh did battle of Jericho, a Jericho, a Jericho. Well, Josh did battle of Jericho and the walls came tumbling down. Way up on the walls of Jericho, he marched with a spear in hand. Go below the ram's horn, Joshua cried, cause the battle is in my head. That morning when Joshua the battle of Jericho. shofars what I saw in this spirit there's whirlwinds in the spirit and one started in Miami one started where Santa Rosa is and they came up and they met in Orlando they met and exploded oh the whirlwind call the whirlwind call up the whirlwind call the whirlwind call up the whirlwind call the whirlwind call up the whirlwind Oh, it's gonna break on through, I break on through, 
break on through to the other side. It's going to break on through, break on through, break on through to the other side. It's going to break on through, break on through, break on through to the other side. It's going to break on through, break on through, break on through to the other side. All the world went down. Oh, just call the world went down. Oh, call the world went down. Damn, damn, call the world The instruction is for all the sons of thunder who have a shofar for the rest of this time until Rosh Hashanah and then blow blow every single day to call the whirlwinds down. You know who you are. The sons of thunder and the angels of thunder and lightning are right there with you. And the Spirit of God says, I will do something if you will do your part and blow everything. Listen to that sound Chris is making right now. Go ahead, Chris.
breaker is coming. Get ready for the breaker is coming. Oh, the breaker is coming. Yeah. is preparing now to give birth there's a rumbling in the heavens there's a rumbling in the earth and the bride herself is preparing to give birth has been here. The breaker has been activated. The breaker is real and alive and the breaker wants to break through in you. And I'm going to ask uh, all the prayer team and, and all Miss Ann and, and, and Restore Glory to come on up. As we're closing tonight, by the way, Judah, blessings and thank you so much for breaking us through. The, um, and you on the web, once again, thank you. But we want to anoint you for the breaker anointing to break loose in you and for you to possess your land. Come on up to the front. They're just going to anoint you and then you'll be released in the name of the Lord. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Come on up and annoy all of us. 